So let's show an example of what happens when we adjust the strength of one of our skinning angles. Let's use the top side of cross section two as an example again, and let's watch this window to see what happens to the feature line as I adjust the strength on the after side. So if we give this more strength, it's changing the magnitude of the derivative vector through this point, and it's just pushing it farther out. But notice how, again, VSP is simultaneously solving the spline that makes the feature line fit these points under the conditions that we've given it. So at this, at this point, it's 0, 30, and 0, and the strengths define how far it pushes that direction. So we can set this to be very, very large. We can set it to be relatively small. But note how on the top side, VSP is lofting, lofting this feature line. On the left-hand side, it's maintaining this 0. So VSP is using interpolation in between those two to satisfy the surface between those two feature lines. And it's pretty clever about how it does it. So let's bring this back to something a bit more reasonable and take a look at what happens if we start adjusting it on the before side. So you can push it and note that if you push it too far, you can turn the surface inside out and cause surface intersections. So right now we have this thing turned inside out and self-intersecting, and that's just not gonna be good for anybody. But if we turn it too far down, watch what happens with these cross sections. So these interpolated sections here are getting closer and closer and closer. And at some point they'll fall right on top of the point here on the top feature line. And coincident points can cause all sorts of problems in say surface visualizations or file export or your analyses like VSP Arrow, for example. Uh, so it's usually best practice to avoid zero strength skinning at all costs. Now you can set this to some small value and that satisfies the condition that they're not right on top of each other. You can set it to one, but if you really don't want to control the, the angles or components on one side, you have to turn off all of the controls. And that means deselecting any of these conditions that give you control from the other side and then turn off set. And notice that all of these controls grayed out and now whatever you do to this cross section will just loft directly back to these points. Now that's only really useful if you absolutely mean to turn off all the controls and let it just loft. It's usually better practice to set the angle that you mean. So if you want it to be straight, just make this angle zero and leave the strength at whatever value makes sense to satisfy this condition. Now there may be some very odd circumstances where you want to turn that control off, say when you're enforcing a certain type of continuity, but that's a topic for a different video. Right now, just know that we don't use zero strength skinning to accomplish our goals. And by adjusting strength, you're adjusting the magnitude of this vector along the line.